Hello everyone, Violet here, and today we are starting a brand new series on this channel. I'm really excited about it, and I'm also very nervous about it. It's stuff that I've been thinking about and researching for a very long time, um, and putting my own intuitive work into, so I do feel called to share it, and check out the description because I will describe what the series is going to be in a little bit more detail. But Today, we are going to talk about one of the main concepts, and I think actually the most important concept of this series, and everything is going to kind of use this as a foundation. And I also think it'll create some important discussion about um, trends and things that are talked about in the new age. Um, so yeah, I, I would ask for you to enter this video with an open mind, an open heart, and see what resonates with you and take it with you into your life and just see you know does this do, do these concepts come up for me in my life and do they resonate as true that's kind of how i've i've developed my relationship with this work and if it does then you know come on back uh, we'll, we'll have more videos on this but if this is the only video you watch i might even be so dramatic as to say it might be the most important video i ever make because a lot of my own concepts and um, like processes within spirituality and within life come from this concept we're going to talk about today. So you might be familiar with the chakra system. It's um, almost like it's just very commonly talked about now. But what I want to talk about, I want to talk about the heart chakra being in the center. And you know, there are three chakras above and there are three chakras below. And this might feel like a, a, just a very brief review here if you're very familiar with the chakra system. But um, typically the three chakras above have more to do with like higher concepts, spirituality, um, and the lower three chakras have more to do with some sort of like base survival, materialist sort of, um, Th those sorts of things so so you can almost imagine like a species or a person or you know some kind of development as going up through the chakras first taking care of those sort of lower needs but then like building and becoming more spiritual and um, more actualized we have the heart chakra here at the very center and I'm also going to equate this to being the earth and the mother, mother earth, and love. So, um, you might hear the term spiritual bypassing, and I kind of have my own take on this a little bit, that the bypassing is the bypassing of the heart. And there are actually two different sort of divergent paths that we'll talk about that bypasses the heart which is the most important thing this is the this is the um this is the greatest uh challenge and concept of our time in my opinion as well is the heart um as well as discernment and this is you know the series is going to get into that a little bit later but yes definitely the heart and so if you think about the two concepts of um uh, the, the three chakras above and the sh three chakras below. Each divergent path where we're diverging from the heart or we're bypassing the heart um, goes in either an upwards direction or a downwards direction and bypasses the heart. So, for example, the first one, the upwards force, is when you take the lower desires, and urges of the lower three chakras and this is these are things like um this could be like addictions to like substances this could be you know like sexual urges this could be sort of like materialist survival also kind of tr trying to like hoard money or hoard material goods um this can also be power like the needing to feel in control feel in power and all of these things they're not inherently bad they have a, they have a function but obviously um <laughs> as you can tell there there is like a darker aspect this to this as well um, if we're looking at this from a selfish point of view, 
which would be, you know, not taking the heart into consideration, but looking at those urges from a very selfish point of view. And in the upwards direction, if you bypass the heart and you almost assign spiritual meaning or you find spirituality through those lower urges without taking the heart into consideration, then you have an issue or 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 you sort of over intellectualize it or you assign this like great importance to it um and very much so going upwards though it is sort of like spiritualizing these lower forces without going through the heart if that makes sense in the opposite direction you're taking the urges of the upper chakras which are urges to understand like a desire to feel connected to the universe to understand what's going on a desire to learn a desire to um, create and express even and you bypass the heart and you take it downwards so you take it to the material plane you make things very literal um, you look at things only from a materialist or scientific perspective and you don't take spirit into account. So it's like over intellectualizing everything and valuing the intellectual above obviously the heart, the emotions, and um, just making them very, very uh, material, very controlled, very rigid. Um, that is the opposite. So you can see this also in terms of like wanting to feel unified or wanting things to kind of like be separated in that um, with spiritual bypassing, if you're if you're doing the upwards direction where you are taking the lower urges and you're, you're sending them upwards and bypassing the heart, then a lot of this is saying, well, oh, we're, we're we are all one. So who cares? And it sort of like takes away the weight of something, if that makes sense. It's sort of like an over unification. There's also a sense of wanting to belong to a group and um, fit in and for, you know, there to be this this like all oneness and unification, but kind of taking away the individuality, which you might see as being formed from the place of the heart. I often think about how, um, you know, if we all are, are one, if we think about it like this, well, um, to experience love, we kind of do need that separation of me versus you to really experience what it's like to love someone that from our perspective in this like material plane we're on, um, is outside of our our um, typical perception, if that makes sense. Like it, we, we aren't seeing through our own eyes your experience, but I still care about it. You know what I mean? I bridge that gap, but it comes from a place of separation. So sometimes if you just sort of overly unify everything, you take away that um, potential. And in the other direction, if you're taking sort of the desire for these higher concepts, but you're bringing them straight down material um, and bypassing the heart as well, because there's a lot of wisdom and knowledge in our heart. Um, this you can see this in like dogmatic religion, for example, where you might take these, um, you know, very mythical and ab abstract, but also like a very symbolic, very resonant, like spiritual texts and you make them totally literal and that might actually like you know lose a lot of its um of its value of its substance and its truth what's interesting though is there's always going to be a kernel a grain of truth if something's taking hold there's a grain of truth there and we'll get into this with some of the the new age pitfalls i want to talk about there is a grain of truth but that um it it, it it sort of leads you astray because in resonating with that grain of truth you kind of like accept all these other things that go with it so in the new age what i want to talk about are some of the pitfalls with um the first the first one and the second we'll start with the first one where it's the upwards motion so in the upwards direction you find a lot of the law of attraction type um, narrative and focus and the grain of truth with law of attraction in my opinion is that you know the the resonance the vibrations that you send out into the world you are more likely to receive those back and you are also being guided and led towards, um, you know, better things 
and um, you can you can work you can work with your own like intuition and you can change patterns of thought and you can lead yourself to um, better experiences um, but the key here is for them to be aligned with your heart purpose sometimes our heart purpose takes us through negative experiences so sometimes our heart purpose which is like what the higher planes and our guides and all of that like what they want us to follow what we our souls our higher selves want to follow our heart purpose might take us through very painful circumstances we might need to experience what it's like to lose something we might need to experience heartbreak and uh, we might need to experience illness and these things aren't a result of like having bad thoughts um but they're they're uh, they, they might very well be a part of your journey. The, tr the, the, the issue though is not getting caught up in them, right? And not getting in sort of a cycle where you can't leave a negative place. It's about the alchemy of taking something through your heart and transforming it. So that would be the healthy upwards motion through the heart. But in Law of Attraction, a lot of the, um, the ways that people talk about it, it focuses on very like material desires and selfish desires in a lot of ways in terms of having the best car or money or like how you look and um, you know how you're perceived in terms of status that maybe that could be connected to like power you, you, do you know what i mean and um and it's taking those desires those very material desires and bypassing the heart and trying to send it to the spiritual place of saying, well, you know, you can manifest anything. So I think once again, like it, it, it is fine to um, want to manifest good things for yourself. I'm using the law of attraction type terms like manifest, you it, manifesting good things for yourself, but, but making sure that it is in align with your heart path your heart's desires, which should be more grounded and deeper than what like society is telling us that we want or, um, you know, what we, what we feel we want, but it's coming from a place of maybe fear or it's coming from a place of insecurity, that sort of, that sort of feeling. Um, and in the opposite direction, the downwards motion is taking spiritual concepts once again kind of like we were what we were talking about with dogmatic religion spiritual concepts that are abstract they're um they're of a different quality than like scientific knowledge of something uh that's you know very focused on the material reactions of things taking these things and trying to make them scientific or make them very literal very rigid and very material so an example of this would be like taking energy healing and allowing a machine or technology to do that for you, which I've heard has become more common in the new age. And I, um, I remember there being sort of like glimmers of this, but yeah, it's like, it's like handing over your, your energetic spiritual body and, and expecting like a machine or like electricity or something like that to do that for for you, if that makes sense, rather than working with like a loving practitioner. Um, that's one example. And then another example would be um, like in the starseed movements of thinking about, you know, our soul, and we'll talk about this more in future videos, but our soul goes through, you know, different iterations within the different planetary spheres and we take on different energies, we leave behind different energies and it's all sort of part of this process. Um, but taking these, soul memories really of um the different energies from different planets and the stars above and trying to make it very literal well like you are an alien or you were an alien that lived on a physical like other planet in in in, in a very like um materialistic so we do have the kernel of truth that yes you know, we, we experience and we take on energies from other planets, and this is how the human form, which is holy and divine, how it has formed um, is through these different like levels of density and different energy streams that we like, you know, can be represented by physical planets 
in this physical plane that we're on right now, that is how we perceive them, if that makes sense. Um, that is the kernel of truth and that is the soul memory. But now it's like sort of overly um, explaining and defining and separating into different kinds of like races and stuff like that. And and it, it, it's, it's, it's divisive as well. And it's, um, it's also ungrounded because it pulls us out of our own earth and our relationship to the earth, which is holy, and the relationship to our bodies, which is holy, and um, the human form being so beautiful and so magnificent than it is. It's sort of like calling it dirty, like to be human is to be dirty. So I think that it's it, it kind of almost comes from a desire to escape because when we look at humanity, we also look at our own shadow and we look at some really intense shadows. Um, but there's also intense beauty and intense potential. So it would be a shame to sort of like um, disconnect ourselves from that potential. So the truth is that whether or not we're um, looking in this upward motion or this downward motion, if we're bypassing the heart, things get distorted and things get confusing. And the truth is, you know what's true with what resonates with your heart. You know that. And um, we're gonna get into some like greater concepts of discernment and you know certain things that are happening right now uh, in the later videos. So let me know if you have any questions about this concept. I hope that it makes sense. It's something I've been sitting with for a long time, so I wanted to um, make it as almost like easy to digest as I as I can even though I feel like there's so much packed into this for me. Um, so I really hope that it makes sense to you and do let me know if you have any thoughts. And um, yeah, check out the description to see a little bit more information about where I'm coming from with this series. And I hope to see you in the next video. So thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. Um, check out some ways you can support this channel if you feel like this is important information getting out there. And otherwise, I will see you all so soon. Thank you so much.